Leos, welcome. This is the first half of October 2021. Your heart spread. <clears throat> this reads uh, who's on your mind, who you have in your heart. Come on, be corny. And Leos with your big hearts. Um, also have the Soul Family Collective read up. Uh, always on Wednesdays, Leo Virgo Day, do two signs. Also have the singles now. That's when you basically don't have anyone on your mind. Mm -hmm. You're super single, completely single. That's yeah, a different kind of read. This is going to read the dynamics between you and your person. Try to get some insight and advice from spirit for each one in the relationship and for the relationship as a whole here in the first half of October time frame. All right. Leo's. Big Sag here, so respect. We go. I do read the bottom of the deck now. Uh, Nine Pentacles. Very solid energy overall. That's good. Nice start here. Hermit. <laughs> Virgo energy. So, it would be unusual for Leah's to have Virgo uh, in your chart. Best of your personal plants, Mercury, Venus, Mars. Never know about the moon and the rising. And nevertheless, it's uh, showing in this position kind of a baseline where you're at. Not necessarily around your person, just where you're at in general. I was the hermit for years and years. I'm still just barely coming out of it. Um, for me, it even got to be agoraphobia. I didn't want to call it spade a spade, but I finally did. Mercury retrograde, uh, the last one before this one, cracked me open completely. And I was there, uh, and I kind of realized uh, it's not bad to be the hermit, though. Um, it's interesting energy to have coming into a relationship. It's, it's, uh, I'd say it's good overall because there, you are someone that understands yourself. You're looking at yourself. You're not someone that's going to come into a relationship and be like, well, they were like this and they did that and they, they, they. Um, so because you're looking, you're doing the right thing and you're looking at yourself here. Um, so also I see again this balance energy that really goes well the nine of pinnacles uh, with the hermit someone that's you've probably been single for a while and you've been comfortable uh, like that and you are comfortable um, but maybe and like me and it's kind of energy um, new moon uh, today and Libra uh, is to get out in of the cave and look here this is my favorite card in this deck because does that not look like Jim Morrison from the doors I mean, it just does art, and it's got a little bit of the dude vibe, too, with his cup. He only had, like, a white Russian in there. He's got a robe on. You know, he's got the Pisces necklace. So, you know, King of Cups that traditionally want to see a Cancer, but could be any water sign, and I think here could indicate water energy. Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus is significant in the chart. Like, I have an Aries, but, if, but the uh, Pisces I'm seeing more and more is so strong the moon okay with her and you've got to keep that in mind you know uh, in fact like really in terms of love venus the moon uh these are the, the dc the ic these are the more important connections um in any kind of relationship but you know i like this because when i compare these you know a hermit is someone that's wise gained wisdom uh, the nine of pentacles overall it's very grounded you know, the King of Cups is a great energy to come into a relationship with. And it's, this is like the most laid-back King of Cups I've ever seen. The most laid-back King I've ever seen. It looks like uh, Hugh Hefner, too, a little bit. Like, he's just at a party, man. He's just chill. Just absolutely chill. He don't even have a sword or nothing. He's leaning on his stick there like it's not a, something he beats you with. It. You know, he's just so chillax, man. So peaceful. So I think you're coming into someone here... Leo that's got water energy and they're just pouring this water energy on you. So I like it out of the chute, this person you're thinking of mature, uh, takes care of themselves, um, you know, but they might be a little laid back, you know, and that could work. <laughs> it works for me, man. If I was going to go gay, you know, uh, King of Cups, man, I'd take this dude right here. <laughs> so, Three of Cups, this is how you're feeling about them. I don't believe this has anything to do because this is how you're feeling about them uh, with uh, third parties right now. It could be you're feeling that they're like having a third party. 
But when you go from the hermit and now say you start dating and I get the feeling you're into them, they seem pretty cool. <laughs> I like them already, just I got to tell you. <laughs> but, um, you know, it would feel like this is just getting out and going on dates and partying. And it may not even be that big a deal, going to a movie, going to a show, going to a concert, going out to dinner with your lover. And, you know, whereas you've just been hanging out in the cave, like doing your astrology work and, you know, reading your esoteric books and uh, studying uh, yourself. And um, that could just be that energy because it's exactly the energy this king would bring. To be like, come on, put on something pretty. We're going out somewhere special where you'll find out when you get there um, and you could be caught up in that. Right. No. Okay. Wow, look at this seven of uh, swords energy. The problem with this, because I get it, this is really sounding like a third party stuff going on here, sneaky stuff. But this is their energy towards you. How are they feeling about you as they interact with you? And it really, in this one, is looking right over at this three of cups. So you know whether you're involved with someone else. I read this as new, so uh, that's why I really don't see the infidelity. It's more like you guys checking each other out in your new relationship here, you know. So really, they're the ones looking at you kind of a little bit like, hmm, you know. And it, I just get the feeling like they could think you're so cool and like so hot. Yeah, you got to have something else going on. And they're kind of watching you. Also, uh, this, I get the feeling if you guys are, I have to reverse them because you, you see that he's looking or she, he or she, your person here is uh, looking at this Three of Cups. Uh, so, Leos, I think you guys are out on a date, and it, it could be a little bit like this. Again, you're a hermit. You're not used to this, and maybe you're a little wide-eyed, and, you know, even like maybe you're flirting a little, you know, like you're really getting out of the cave. You're a little giddy with giddy. You're out of the cave, or you're a little bit of alcohol. You're a little bit giddy, and they're kind of looking at you like, mm -hmm. Man, I don't know. Are they a player? Because, I mean, they would be surprised, I think. Cause probably wouldn't have that vibe. But, you know, um, you could have that vibe if it's, you know, you're just kind of high on getting out. <laughs> Maybe you've been in the whole COVID thing. This is the first time you've really been out, right? So let's go with that and see where, what we get here. Devil card. Now, this is your advice from Spirit again. <laughs> I get it what it looks like. You got three of cups, the seven of swords, and the devil. Uh-uh. This is your advice from spirit towards this person. Now, um, let me see what their advice is. Nine of cups. This is your partner's advice here. Your person's advice. Whoever it, it is you're interacting here with. I think there's some been some interaction. I mean, it could all be happening online, but I feel get the feeling you guys have, have been together. So they're coming in with nine of cups and that's their advice in dealing with you in the relationship. And your advice for dealing with them is the devil. And um, I think that their advice is to be uh, self-contained, be emotionally self-contained. Uh, don't lose yourself. It's coming under that seven of swords. It's like it's saying, get out of your head and get into your emotions where you're a king of cups. That's where you're comfortable. You know, and um, when you're centered in yourself, that's how spirit is uh, saying that you're a person, if you're a cross watcher, how you would deal with this Leo person. And this could speak to Capricorn energy in your chart. Uh, keep in mind, uh, Pluto getting ready to go direct now. Huge, a lot of stuff going on, like 22 Capricorn. So if that's there, um, it could speak to that. But this is that Plutonic energy, I believe, and the kind of Scorpio energy. I know it's uh, the Devil card Capricorn. <clears throat> but, you know, Spirit's not going to advise you to get high. Um, so I think it's like they're telling you to uh, go ahead. It's coming under the Three of Cups. And the thing about this Three of Cups energy, like I, it's Saturn in the Fifth House. I'm kind of prejudiced against fun. But it's fun, and it's emotional. It's not necessarily cheating. It's just feeling giddy, feeling light, feeling Gemini to me, energy, third house stuff, having fun, and coming after the hermit. It's just got to be all kind of breaking out, letting loose. 
Well, I think what Spirit's advising now, Leo, in this relationship is for you to really let loose and, you know, drop into that eighth house of Scorpio type energy here and in interacting with your person. Um, and your person here it has an emphasis on being staying emotionally stable. Um, so they may be easily emotionally swamped or emotional. I mean, I am. I've got a cancer moon. I mean, feelings become like there's nothing. You know, someone can say to me, Jesus, it's a feeling. Dave, we've gone in a couple minutes, you know, and I just can't. It's like I'm in this feeling bubble, and it's like I can't imagine that it will be gone ever. It's like this feeling just engulfs the world. I get to feel that little bit of that energy. Um, but by you being advised to be the devil, um, it's basically become very, uh, go ahead and allow yourself to be very sexual, very intimate. Um, and I think they're going to receive you very well. And don't be concerned if at some level they have to hold back a little bit. Because I think they're a very emotional person here. You know, um, in fact, them holding back emotionally is emotionally wide open compared to most people like you if you're just meeting them you you would not think of them as someone emotionally holding back even if they were that's how emotional they are if that makes sense you know um but i think with this you know we're going to see with this advice it's going to wear it's going to wear this uh, nine of cups down and when you're in the nine of cups i always say you know the next cup is ten of cups I and mean, that's you know that's brass ring as far as i'm concerned so this is the coming at you, Knight of Swords, coming at you. I was in, coming right at you, right at you. So this is advice from spirit for the relationship as a whole. Both of you guys got to get really down and dirty and just say it like it is. Um, open yourselves up to really, both of you, just be vulnerable and be sexual and have the conversations that go right to the heart. This is not the kind of thing you're going to do if you're not serious, okay? This is not the kind of thing that's going to happen. This is in the crucible crux of the heart spread. This is advice from spirit for both of you. It would not advise this uh, to people who were just dating or is in any way casual. Um, this is the kind of energy where you're ready for them to meet the kids. You're ready to make if there were third parties involved, okay, whatever, that's the past. You're ready, that's going to go away because it's coming right at you, at each other. And let's see what the outcome is here, guys, for this Nine of Swords. Wow. This talk that you're going to have, this Knight of Swords, I'm going to clarify the outcome here. Let's not get scared yet because this Knight of Swords, you, you're going to have a real relationship when this is over. But and remember, this is a nine, like you're almost done. It's going to mean that uh, the two of you, because this is the outcome where both of you are going to be at, are going to be in a place where you're really, you really open up. You could have moon on a AC, moon on Pluto energy, this kind of thing, um, where you just open up to each other completely. And then often it's a delayed reaction and you, you begin to discover things about yourself. Well, I could tell a story, it's a little lengthy, but man, uh, exactly how that works. Um, but when this is happening and you end up with this Nine of Swords, you know, and, and look at all the ghosts here. It's like, let's look at them as they're gonna go away. But you know, you're starting to realize they're not really inside you, they're outside, they're not a part of you, they're not real. Maybe that's what that's in the Seven of Swords now is really looking right at this Nine of Swords, okay? <laughs> and you've got the Knight of Swords bringing it in. That's action, taking action. So I would say that you're going to have the realest relationship, the most honest relationship, open, raw, sexual relationship of your entire life, you know? But it's almost like the very inception of the relationship comes with this plutonic, uh, metamorphosis, death and rebirth experience. I believe for both of you, I mean, if there is a twin flame, I'm always shaky on that. This would be exactly twin flame energy right here. Um, you would probably be the sleeper. Your person here, Lee, would be the activator. Um, this is how twin flames, they go. Is why you can really grow from them. Not my bag, I'm a little older, need some peace. 
But if you really are willing to take uh, the extra effort to make the spiritual journey kind of accelerate it, yeah, find a twin flame, and it, it's not easy. And that's not what this is. It's not easy, but it's real. And you guys are going to heal together. Four swords. It's not about outcome for the heart spread here. This is a relationship about healing, Leo. This is, i got to be karmic. You know, this is a contract that was written. This is meant to happen. Okay, and I hope that part of your conversation now could be this reading. I would love it if you share it with your person and ask them, like, what do you think? If it me assuming it resonates, okay? That would be, to me, like a, a highest uh, purpose of this and to get something out of this. So karmic relationship, you've done the work, you've earned it. Your person is whole person, king person, um, and you're going to have this amazing healing relationship that's not going to be without some, you know, painful uh, realizations, mental realizations along the way. Give me a like, guys, all of that. Tell a friend to tell a friend, and uh, subscribe. Thank you, guys.